In the last Mini Z Garage episode, I showed you how to lock your original differential without damaging it. In this installment, I will show you how to make the equivalent of the popular ball differential, only better, using the original parts and for under 10 bucks. What's up everybody, Jeffrey McAvoy here. It's good of you to be back. The previous Mini Z all-wheel drive mod was pretty straightforward. This one? Pfft, forget about it. And I've never seen it carried out yet. This just might be a world premiere, aren't you the lucky one? The idea I've had is to turn the original differential into a viscous coupling unit. A what now? First of all, it would be useful that you get familiar with what a differential actually is. I won't bore your brains out with tech talk today. However, do take a look at the video that I've linked in the description. You will learn most of what you need to know about differentials, then come back here and we'll carry on. All set? Are you a diff wizard now? Good! Let's get into the viscous coupling unit. In a nutshell, it's a type of differential in between an open and a locked setting, the best of both worlds. They enable differential axle speeds and lock up automatically when required to do so. So how does it work? The differential case contains two sets of perforated plates, one set linked to each side of the axle and the lot is filled with silicone based oil. When a wheel starts spinning due to loss of traction, the friction inside the diff generates heat. The heat hardens the silicone oil, locking both sides together temporarily until it cools down. Now's the time to take a look at the other video linked in the description. This type of differential is particularly effective on four-wheel drive vehicles in between the front and rear axles. It can also be found as a cheaper alternative to more complex limited slip differentials on smaller cars. I have done this application down somewhat and applied the idea to the front differential of my Mini Z and it works a treat. All there is to be done is take the diff apart, fill it with a liberal dose of grease, put it back together and voila! The result is the simplest form of a limited slip differential. The grease now contained within the case generates a small resistance through which the spider gears have to work through in order to rotate. You can achieve more or less resistance depending on the grease thickness that is used. It never locks up completely, so it's not quite the same as what I've explained to you, but you get the idea. See, I told you it was easy. I've been experimenting with two thicknesses. First with Castrol Spherol, which I use everywhere on my Traxxas TRX4. Check, check out my video. The effect is light, but it works. The car has less of a tendency to spin out upon tight cornering. Perfect for those slow Gymkhana courses. You gain in accuracy, but the car is still somewhat unpredictable on fast sweeping curves, especially upon changing directions at high speed. After messing around a few hours with that, I moved to the thicker Castrol red rubber grease. Essentially, Traxxas marine grease is exactly the same thing, except that it's more expensive because it says Traxxas on the tube. You get 10 to 15 grams or so in the tube, while you get 500 grams in the Castrol tub, for roughly the same price. That makes Traxxas's grease about 50 times more expensive. Think about that. Anyway, this thick grease requires a higher torque to get the differential effect. In other words, the diff gets tighter still all the while retaining the openness required for a front axle. Personally, I find the setting to be spot on. Mwah! Pico bello! Accuracy is way up there, and it suits my newly found driving style like a glove. Changing directions on sweeping curves becomes a breeze, although slower bends are more difficult to negotiate. You just have to drive like Ken Block. Hammer the throttle like there's no tomorrow and arrive rear first upon negotiating the hairpin turn. Whatever. Who knew that drifting around the house could be so thrilling? So that's all there is to it. Ladies and gentlemen, start wrenching and get your divs modded on a budget. I would just like to say, fellas, that I'm quite happy about the following that this series is getting. I had no idea that there would be so much interest, so really I am ecstatic about it. Thanks for all the likes and comments, it really gets me going. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. There's much more RC madness to come, real car test drives and so on. Also, please consider supporting my work by becoming a patron. I have recently had the honor of gaining my very first patron who chose the top tier straight up. So join him, enter the McAvoy community and gain access to exclusive content. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that's all from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you all in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Goodbye.